Thank you, Helen. Thank you, Helen. Now, she made an incredible impact, didn't she, as Rainy in EastEnders. And now Tanya Franks is back on our screens in hit ITV drama Broadchurch. Nothing changes, does it? Even with everything that's going on, you're so self-obsessed. A thousand pounds, nine hundred now. I've already lent you three thousand. I saw something, Elle. I think you'll want to know. What are you talking about? The night Daniel Attenborough got killed. I don't believe you. Right, what did you see the night Danny was killed? What night was it even? It was a Thursday. Yeah, go on then. Lend me that grand, I'll tell you. Well, Tanja, join us now. The great thing about this drama is it unfolds very slowly and each character seems to get brought in and then sort of they're dealt with and then you move on and I sense that this is your week. You're being brought <laughs> in, aren't you? So tell us, what, tell us about Lucy. OK, well, um, Lucy is... Uh, Lucy Stevens is Ollie's mother. Uh, and Ollie's the young reporter. She's the young, reporter, young, yeah, he's trying the young to make journalist. It in that's right, trying yeah. To, yeah, that's right. And Ellie's sister. Who's the main who's detective. Who's the main detective. Yeah. So yeah. Um, she's... We, we, at the moment, obviously, you're not quite sure how that fits into the storyline, but there's something that Lucy knows mm. that... Uh, you know, clearly I cannot divulge at the moment. You certainly can. Now, is she going to be bad news? Is there any good news or bad news in this series? I mean, that's the thing, you know, it's all pretty... Uh, that's the suspense of it, isn't it? Is it good news? Is it bad news? One never knows with any of the characters in it. I mean, it, it, it's, all, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm completely hooked. It's agonising, though, when it ends. And you think, oh, no, another yeah, week. And they, yeah. they really are... Holding the tension very well, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, I think it's amazing how they've been able to take one storyline and literally just expand it over mm. eight weeks and hold that suspense mm. through, you know, and, and literally every avenue is being looked at, explored, every character. It's, it's fantastic. It's so well written. And, and you... even though it's obviously a murder case yeah. and so a, a very sad thing yeah. and, and causing problems for, for the town, it looks so beautiful. Mm. I mean, especially as I know it was filmed last summer yes, when yeah. it wasn't very nice weather. I mean, no. it just looks glorious. Well, was it nice to be there? Yeah, I it? mean, um, Bridport is mm. a gorgeous area anyway, a beautiful kind of little enclave of a, of a town. and. Um, and actually, the filming that I did down there was not in the hottest part when they, mm. they started filming, because, of course, I didn't come in until episode four. So uh, the, when they started filming, it was very warm down there. They had a ah, great, had great, a bit, yeah, you? they had a great, great summertime of about a week or so, or a couple of weeks. <laughs> that was, was fantastic. our summer, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> um, but actually, it's very beautiful anyway, I think. Mm. So what is it nice. about you and troubled women? I mean, you're a, a junkie in East End. Oh, you seem to have money problems emerging oh, in, in this one, and then you're a Cougar in the one that's playing oh, on Sky very shortly. Yeah, kitten chic next it, week. Yeah. Yes, that's right. I, yeah, a bit of a cougar in that. That's true. I, you know, my mum says to me, I don't know what you do at your castings or your meetings to <laughs> end up playing the roles that you, you play. Because your butter wouldn't melt in real life. No, I, I'm, I really, I am such a goody goody Kate. That's true. I am. Ask my mum. Speaking I of wondered... EastEnders, I just wondered, sorry, yeah. I just wondered, any, any prospect of you returning? They didn't write her out. No. They? they didn't write her out. She's still there. She's been going in and out over a sort of a five-year period and mm. um, no she's she's still spoken about and uh, they they did ask me back last year actually and I, I wasn't able to do it because I was mm. filming in LA at the time so it, it may be something whoever knows in the future mm. you know okay. whoever knows when they might need me or never I might say need never. them never, never say never in this business yeah. oh it's brilliant and we can't wait to see what, what you get up to on Monday night oh, thank you well nice done to talk to you. Thank, thank you, you.